Hello and welcome to the talk of Luxury Continent with Oman Daily Observer. Today we're talking about something that's in everyone's mind and that is of course Corona and MERS. And obviously there are debates, do camels carry them? And all these questions we got someone to answer for us and she is Dr. Amal Al Mani and she is a senior consultant for infectious diseases and infection control at the Royal Hospital and Ministry of Health. She's also a member of the task force when it comes to MERS. Welcome to Welcome. the program. Welcome, Thank you, Dr. Uh, doctor, this is definitely in everyone's mind. And when we hear about Corona, MERS, uh, it really does actually, a little bit of reading, you understand, it is the same thing. Corona has a lot of other families, but it is a source, and it's also a source for common cold. But with changes, it becomes MERS. Yeah, so Corona is the big family, if you want to make it that way mm -hmm. and simple and understandable. Corona as a big family have been known for ages now, and it's not a new virus for us. What we keep getting every now and then is a new subtypes mm -hmm. of the corona, new children mm -hmm. for the corona that we did not knew about them before, and they manifest in different ways. Uh, mostly, the corona cause what we know about it is respiratory disease, Respi uh, you know, a virus that affects mainly the respiratory system mm -hmm. and cause symptoms and signs that affect the respiratory uh, system, including you know, the upper and the lower respiratory system. Okay. And there is no specific vaccine mm -hmm. also to fight and prevent against a severe form of the virus if, it at not, uh, if it's not also to prevent capturing the infection itself. Doctor, now the camels are being suspected. It's not proven, but yeah. are being suspected. Yeah, the, the story of camels are, is interesting, and this is one of the most interesting parts when you come to infectious diseases. Mm -hmm. The way we think whenever we get a new virus, a new bacteria, or something coming up that causes diseases in humans, we work a circle. Mm -hmm. It's not only you want to know where does this virus come from, how does it reach human beings and how do they get infected with it? And also within the chain, you want to know why some people would capture it. Mm -hmm. do they, is it because they have certain activities that makes right. them more prone to get this virus or different things? So when the story of MERS started and people started to die, especially coming from you know, the community, people who are ordinary living there, we started to question where did this virus origin came from and how did this people capture it. So scientists had different theories and initially they had the bat theory. Mm -hmm. So in Saudi Arabia they studied different uh, types of bats and they found it in one genotype of the bats and only in one bat. But still they could not explain the whole picture. Mm -hmm. Why all these people, and especially people who do not have contact with bats, would get the uh, coronavirus. Then comes a paper that shows, and it actually it was from a man, that showed we have in the camels antibodies that fight uh, or against coronavirus. It was done here? It was, uh, yeah, it was in Omani camels, and this was published paper, okay. scientific published paper, mm -hmm. that showed that the Omani camels have the antibodies mm -hmm. against the corona. But that was samples collected from even before we knew about the uh, coronavirus in humans. Okay. So it tells you something that this virus was probably existing in camels long time mm -hmm. before we saw it causing diseases in humans. But uh, in Oman or in anywhere else, the community has had a very close relationship with camels. So long time have, ago, yes. and this is the other puzzle in, mm -hmm. the, uh, in the story of camels. Mm -hmm. If, and just to complete the studies around mm -hmm. the camels, mm -hmm. then people said, okay, serology, which is testing the antibodies, mm -hmm. might not be very specific. Because, you know, we have a lot of coronaviruses mm -hmm. that might be different than the mers And maybe the serology would not differentiate for you mm -hmm. whether the antibodies against this corona versus the other corona. So scientists went into collecting samples to, to isolate the virus itself okay. in the camels and to see whether this isolated virus in the camels is genetically the same as the one in oh, humans. Okay. 
And they succeeded in proving that in samples, again, from different countries, from Saudi Arabia, from uh, uh, Egypt, from Africa, and from Oman, and they attributed to the dormitory camels, which is the single humped camels, yes. compared to the double humped yeah. camels. So after that, we believed that the corona, uh, the MERS coronavirus did exist in camels, mm -hmm. but why it's not causing severe disease? Why don't we see mortalities in mm -hmm. camels? Why don't we see the camels getting sick with this virus the way the human is? This is one question. The second question, if the camels are the source, how do they infect humans? What is the method? Is it direct contact with the camels or it's through an intermediate, mm -hmm. uh, you know, host that gets the infection from the camels and then from the camels, the mosquitoes uh, you know, who knows okay. what yeah. is it, okay? So until now, we don't know no. for that. And because of all of this and because we have increasing number of cases in Saudi Arabia, which some of them, and I would say not majority, even minority, and even in the Omani cases, we had like we had two cases mm -hmm. in Oman. Only one was linked two? to camel. Oh, really? The second one, so it's 50-50. So okay. we ca I cannot comment on Oman cases, but at least in Saudi Arabia, the number of cases that was linked to camel is not that. It even did not reach the 50% of the mm -hmm. cases. So again, the people say, okay, th we have a scientific evidence that the virus is the same, but we still don't know how it gets into human. As a precautionary, and because how severe the disease is, the Ministry of Health in Saudi Arabia had, you know, recommended that people avoid close contact with camels. Or wear masks, maybe? Yeah, or if you are going to go very close to them, to wear masks. The other thing, and the other study that is also interesting and in linking to camels, was the camel milk. Mm. Uh, scientists have looked for the virus existent in the camel milk, and it's there, and they have you know, uh, expose this milk to different temperatures. And they found that with heating the milk, the virus dies. Okay. So the other... Actually, it's not heated. The you, you know, is no, drunk. most of the people do not believe, yeah. uh, those who drink usually camel milk, they don't believe in heating it, yeah. because they think that it would affect what kind of immunity, immunity they are the hoping is, to get yes. from the camel. Or the hot stone is put inside. Yeah, yeah. so w the recommendation now, if you are somebody who's consuming, you know, yeah, a camel yeah. milk, it's better to heat it, because okay. until now we don't know whether right. that, you know, root of consumption might get you predisposed okay. to be affected with the uh, MERS coronavirus. Right. But with that note, I want to say thank you so much, Dr. Amal. You've really given us a lot of clarification and understanding and definitely on the prevention measures My pleasure. that we all can contribute to. My pleasure, and I hope that uh, everybody remains healthy and well. Thank you so and much. And enjoy their summer. Thank you. You're right. She is our guest today, and <coughs> what an insight. And now, of course, we know all about how uh, to take care of ourselves and to understand MERS, it's not a mystery anymore. A special thanks to Dr. Amal Almani, and she is a senior consultant in infection diseases and infection control at World Hospital and Ministry of Health, and also member of the task force for MERS control. I'm Lakshmi Kofleth, and right here with the talk, we'll be back next week. Amal Daily Observer. Thank you for joining us.